Hey everybody, Premier Guitar reporting from Winter Nam 2014. I'm here with two legit greats in this business. That that you just heard playing is a string banner extraordinaire, Mr. Jerry Donahue. Mr. Jerry Donahue. And this is one of the greats in the business. This is Mr. Trev Wilkinson. Trev Wilkinson. There we go. And uh, these guys have been around a long time doing their thing. And too long, says Trev. And they're, uh, but they finally put their minds together and come up with something pretty amazing here. Trev, why don't you jump in and start to tell us a little yeah, bit? Sure. Well, Jerry and I have known each other for like 20 odd years or something when I was here in California. And, um, you know, Jerry's had his signature guitars with the high dollar brands. Uh, and like a lot of players, you go to a concert, you play, and then all the people come up to see you. Obviously, in the audience, they want to be you, they want to emulate you, they want to play like you, they want to sound like you. But generally speaking, artist endorsement guitars are usually unaffordable to your average player. And it's something that I've worked at most of my career, is making things affordable for a real pro player that can't get all the exotic stuff. But yet, why should he have to um, go down market, if you like, and buy a bad guitar, because that's all he can afford? Jerry's of the same opinion. He'd love to be able to say, and now he can, when he's got, when the guy comes up and says, "Oh, Jerry, that's fantastic! You know, that's a beautiful guitar. Where can I buy it?" And then he tells him how much it is, which is this: he's got a map of about eleven hundred dollars. Then they go, "Wow, I can afford this!" You know, and I think that's bringing reality to, to the industry. Right. Jerry, what did you go into this uh, project? What, in what kind of mindset? What were you looking for? Uh, I was trying. I was trying to work with a company that would uh, allow me to make the the changes that I'd, I'd wanted to. Um, like when I started with some of these other companies, we'd get something locked in, and then uh, it was it was kind of like as I was developing this five-way switch kind of um, you know configuration, where you could combine my favorite you know sounds from the three pickup type guitars or the typical two type guitars look like this, and uh, you know. It, then I would further hone in on, this, on the sounds after it had already been released and, I, and I'd go back to them and, and they'd say, oh no, we worked on your guitar last year, you know, we're on to other things now and I just couldn't, you know, update it. So I ended up with a guitar, of course I'd updated all of my guitars, my personal ones, but the ones that were being sold to the public were different, you know what I mean? Were, were the original version which hadn't quite, you know, didn't, you know the, didn't reflect the improvements made since. So um, anyway, it's great to work with uh, Trev again, you know, after so many years. Um, and, um, and everybody at John Hornby Skews have been just really supportive in terms of all of the, uh, all of the thing, um, you know, for all of the steps in putting this together. And I can take you through the sounds, if you like, when you're ready. Uh, uh, for sure. Um, I started, you know, with this, with this neck neck pickup you know the real majestic kind of three pickup guitar you know style you know there's so many that make that you know they copy copy that guitar I've always liked that sound I started on three pickup guitars when I moved to this and heard how superior it was in the bridge uh, what I did miss was the neck pickup in particular so I ended up using that uh, and you know the match was such I mean if you hear You don't get that on the three pickup guitar. It's like it was just such a great, ma you know, fantastic um, complementary sounds. You know the way they—they, they, it's just a perfect marriage. You know, I just couldn't believe that they were never originally intended to be on the same guitar. It's like because they—they match better than any other, really. You know, two pickups if you go from the neck to the bridge. And so um, it happened kind of by fluke, but I discovered a way to get that kind of in between sort of quack tone on the three pickup guitars like this normally you would get this in the in the a typical telly sound so here's the quacky tone and normally that would only be achieved by having the the pickups close enough that you'd get the magnetic fields crossing you know but this happened a totally different way. It was just amazing. But then it it uh, it then it really 
what it really, what had to be done then was to figure out a way to get the other sound back because I missed that middle tone. So it was told to me, you know, it was actually Seymour Duncan that helped me with that. He said, well, you can't do it on that same switch. See, there was a capacitor wound inside the pickup that was causing the, a reverse phase just to be a phase. It, it wouldn't allow for the 180 degree reversal that results in that sort of baseless, very mid midi kind of, you know, nasally tone, uh, which I would have changed instantly had I known uh, somebody had wound a pickup by, you know, e experimenting with different, different capacitors. And that, so when it was determined that there was a cap wired inside, um, Seymour said, well, you, is, you can't get that other sound back as long as you've got the cap inside, but we'll put it on a special five-way switch just in this selection where you want to engage it. Just like, I said, well, I'd like to have it where it occurs on the, on the five, on the three pickup guitar. And so that's, that's what we ended up doing. And it just, uh, it just allows for a, that just beautiful kind of phase shift that, that just very closely emulates the mechanical phase shift that you get or phase effect that you get on, um, on the Strat. Uh, so, you know, the three pickup guitars. Anyway. Can we hear you rip proper Sorry? for a minute? Can we hear you just rip proper here on some of these? Use, use a few of the different settings while I do it. tone is nice jazz tone as well it suggests like a larger body guitar you know like but still has a nice punchy quality which is uh, really really great it's really great if you put it through a stomp box you can really get that late 60s kind of woman tone is it you just imagine it with the overdrive you know just be just sings so it's like it's my favorite like two uh two solid body guitars and uh well actually it's somewhere in between like the the solid body um well, all of them from, from the other companies as well. It's like my favorite three solid bodies all kind of in one. With no extraneous positions on the switch, you know how people have with a five-way, they usually find their favorite two sounds or three sounds and, and don't even bother with the other. Well, there are no extraneous sounds on this. They're all sounds that, that prove themselves to be highly popular over the last, you know, since the beginning of electric guitars. They've just not all been on one guitar before. So, I mean, this is, this is really it. No need to carry anything else except an acoustic with you, you know? How about how it feels? And the feel is wonderful. It's just every go for it in terms of the neck. What did you guys... Well, I always like that sort of late, late uh, 56 style neck. It's very, very gent a very gentle kind of V on the back. But it just feels so good. It just, it's almost like it was made for your hands. Everybody comments on that, you know? It's like, oh man, what a neck, you know, the, and the action is superb and uh, it's just really great. Seven and a half radius or 7.25, I think it is, huh? 7.25 and, um, and just with that, you know, it just feels perfect, you know, it's just slender here. It's a V but then rounds off so nicely here. It's just, you know, I don't know why they didn't, didn't stop with that once they reached perfection. Why, why continue, you know? But anyway, we have it on ours, which is the main thing. Well, Trev, you've worked with a lot of artists over the years, a lot of big names, a lot of greats like Jerry. 
And uh, did you go into this one with any specific ideas, trepidations, reservations? Um, no, no, no reservations. I went into it to to achieve what Jerry wanted, yeah. and and uh, you know, and to kind of become a, a flagship for Fret King. Yeah. You know, Fret King as a company. You know, we're not the big guys. Um, we have to try that bit harder. Yeah. And and it's always been my mission from the hardware days, starting in the 80s. I've just tried to make guitar players' lives easier. Yeah. And uh, the nice thing about Fret King is that we can make changes to classically styled instruments that those instruments can't have changes made to because yeah. then it says well we did it wrong in the first place right. so this this is what gives us the freedom and then to work with jerry on this it's sort of like jerry we'll give you whatever you want yeah. we, we we haven't painted ourselves into nostalgia corner yeah. you know we'll, we'll we'll work with you you know we'll give you a five bolt neck joint you know two triangulations of bolts has got to be the strongest ever yeah. You know, we've got a little tongue running underneath the front pickup, so we've got high access, and we've got a tongue underneath the front pickup. It's like it's 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 a well-built guitar. Right. We haven't had to say, well, actually, you know, that's not very good, but we have to do that, otherwise people will think we're not making the guitar they expect us to think. Right. So that's the nice thing about the freedom with Fred King. You guys had a good time. We had a great time. We had a great time. Yeah, because Jerry spends half of his time in the UK and half his time in the US, so he's he's not too far away from my workshops on the west coast of England. And um, he could call up any minute and just sort of like say, hey, Trev, can I do this? Can we come down? Can we do that? Can we do it? Sure. We come down, we have a listen, and we have a play, and sorted. Good way to get things done. Yeah. The other brand that I'm heavily involved in is the Vintage brand. And this actually does get a little bit closer to the images, we're, to the uh, uh, instruments we're paying homage to. Um, we started off with this guitar with my pickups in it, built to Jerry Specs. Jerry's had a long time association with Seymour Duncan. Seymour's a good friend of mine. Jerry said, would you mind if we used the Seymour Duncan pickup because I have this thing that you want? So we said, we have no problem with doing that at all. Let's stick it in the Fret King because that's going to increase the price a little bit. And we didn't want to lose our market share or, or any sales because of the higher price. So Jerry kindly said, well, look, why don't we take your pickups, your Jerry Donahue pickups and the circuitry and put it into a, a vintage V2 style guitar uh, and then everybody can get access to those sounds at a lower price point and this has got a this has got a map of about 699 and this is two piece older maple neck like Jerry's we didn't do the soft V because we were appealing to the guy that's you know he's, he's more used to this yeah. that that's a beautiful neck uh, and when you play it you go wow this is great but you have still got an awful lot of people that go oh it's not me yeah. we understand that yeah. you know Next, with bolt-on guitars, can be changed, so that's not a problem. So um, this is, um, I say, made to exactly the same specifications, um, the, the the same attention to detail, the same circuitry, but at you know an even more affordable price. Jerry, I can tell it's morning. This is a morning session because you're keeping it mellow. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Got to work up to the day, really. <laughs> it's still early here in Anaheim. All right, Trev, where should um, folks go to find out more about what you're doing? Um, Fretking.com. You heard it from the man. It's an honor to hang with both of you guys. You. For real, Always, real pleasure. Appreciate it. Thanks. Signing off Thank you. from Winter Nam 2014. This is Premier Guitar.